Hello and welcome. I'm very excited today and that's because WebStorm 2021.1 is out. There's a lot of exciting features in this version like the ML assisted code completion and the inbuilt MTN documentation. Now that one really moved me. But today we're going to be talking about the new version control features and instead of focusing on only the 2021.1 version, I'll be walking you through version control in general with WebStorm and I'll let you know whenever we'll come across a new feature. So even if you've not tried out version control with WebStorm before or you already use WebStorm for version control, this is the perfect video for you. I've left the video outline in the description and you can feel free to skip to whichever feature you'd want to try out first. So what makes me like WebStorm so much? Now one very exciting thing about WebStorm is I almost have no reason to write git commands on my terminal anymore. I spent so much time learning how to work with git and memorizing all the git commands. I went to VS Code and some extensions helped me out. I could easily perform many git operations with VS Code. but WebStorm just takes it all away and says, actually, you don't have to do anything at all anymore. So let's see how we can use version control on this project. If you've not heard of version control before or you don't know what version control is, I have a course on version control with Git and GitHub. So please check it out on my channel. Now this right here is a calculator. One exciting feature that came with WebStorm 2021.1 is the ability to preview our HTML, CSS and JavaScript files in real time. To do that, I can either click on the index.html file in the file explorer, right click on it, then go over to opening and browser and building preview. Or you can see the VS Code icon right here in the editor. Just click on it and we have a calculator. So this is really amazing. Let's see if our calculator works well. So 7 minus 5 and that's 2. Awesome. Now what we're going to do next is see how we can apply a version control to this project. Firstly, we'll need to initialize our project as a Git repository and to do that, we'll come over to the VCS option in the top navigation bar, click on it and create Git repository. Say so you select the directory where the new Git repository will be created. So right here we are on our calculator project directory. Click on OK and we have our project as a Git repository. And that's it for initializing the Git repository. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to stage a change. So these file changes we have right now, let's stage them for a commit. To do that, we'll come over to this commit button in the left pane. We'll click on it to go over to the commit section. Now, you can see we have two sections here, one default changes and the next for commit message. To stage our changes, we're going to focus on this first section. And you see that we have on version files. Now let's click on this drop down icon to view our files. We have a dot git ignore file from the webstorm idea directory. So the webstorm dot idea directory saves the settings for a particular project. That's why we have this dot git ignore to view what's inside of it. We can click and we see what um, is inside the dot git ignore file. We can also see the vcs dot xml. This also comes with the dot idea directory. So that's all to generate for us. But what we need right now is the index of CSS, the index of HTML and the index of JS files. You can choose to add these other WebStorm project files to Git so that the project settings remain the same on whichever system you open up this repository. Now to stage and change, what we're going to do is click on this checkbox. So we want to stage the index of HTML file right now. We'll click on this checkbox and that's us preparing it for a commit. You can see the index.html file right there. You know that git add command and then the file name that we need to run on our terminal to stage a change, that's this. You just click on the checkbox and you can unstage it by unchecking. So we want to stage this right now. And what we're going to do next is commit. And to do that, we'll come over to this commit message section on the bottom of the commit pane. We'll click on it and we can write our commit message. So this is create index.html file and what we're going to do next to commit is click on the commit button and that's it. 
or we've successfully made our first commits and you can go ahead to make the commit for the index.js file and the index.css file so this could be create index.js file you click on the commit create index.css file you click on the commit button there's also this button by the right uh, which is the commit and push button and that's if you want to push directory to the remote repository immediately after you make a commit let's try that with the index.css file so check this index.css file right there create index.css file commit and push you see that right now we've not added a remote repository yet and look at this option master and define remote right on top of the model you click on define remote and we have the name of our remote at origin the next thing we have there is the url i'll go over to github i've created a new repository named calculator app what i'm going to do next is copy this repository link and go back to webstorm now we paste that link in the url input field click on ok that's it right now we have our remote repository what we're going to do next is click on this push button so uh if you click on the drop down you can see that there's an option for force pushing what we need right now is the push option you click on the push button and that was successful let's go over to our browser and confirm that we have our files on github and back to the browser reload and we have this right there that's it for initializing the git repository staging changes making comments adding a remote repository and pushing those comments to a remote repository but sometimes comments can be more bogus and depending on your team convention you might need to follow a particular template when making comments and with webstorm 2021.1 there's a way to create template for comments so that whenever you need to make a comment you already find the template waiting for you Okay, to use commit templates, we're going to create a txt file for our template. So right here in the file explorer, we'll right click, new and file. Let's name it dot git commit template and dot txt. Do you want to add the following file to git? Yes, we want to. Now I'm going to paste a simple commit template. We have the type, we have the body, and we have the footer. This means that whenever we want to make a commit, we should be seeing this as a commit template, as a guide for whatever we want to write. Now, the next thing we're going to do is open up a terminal and add the git template file to our git config. So git config dash dash local. You can change this to the global tag if you want this applied to all your projects. Next, we have commits dot templates and the path to our commit template file dot git commit template dot txt all right we can go ahead and close the terminal then go over to the commit section you can see our commit message template right here and that's how to add commit message templates in the webstorm 2021.1 version now how about reversing inline file changes this means that now that we have the index.html file added to git and we make a change to this file like let's say we remove line 34 so we remove that and we want our change back all we'll have to do is click on this red icon and you can see the line we just removed then you click on this rollback icon we have a change back what of reversing file changes once again let's remove something else from our file so we're going to remove the title line then all we have to do is come over to the commit section and click on the drop down for default change list click on index.html we can then compare our file changes so right here we have a um, title in the old version and the new version uh, we don't have any title tag what we'll have to do in this case if we want to revert this change is click on the index.html file and then the rollback button or we'll right click on index.html file and click rollback now roll back then we can close this and go over to the index.html file uh, we have a title right there so that's it for reversing inline file changes and reversing file changes now what if we want to revert a commit we'll come over to the bottom navigation click on the git option and you can see the comments we've made so far create index.html file create index.js file and create index.css file if we want to revert, um, for example, this create index or CSS file, we'll have to right click on it and then go over to revert commit. Click on revert commit. You can see model that pops up with the commit message revert. 
create index or CSS file that reverts um, this particular commit. You can change this to whatever you want and then click on commit. Or if you change your mind, you click on cancel. When you click on cancel, you come over to the commit section and you can see the change list for a revert commit action. You click on this and roll back. So let's roll back. We should have our index or CSS file back. So the empty change list revert create index or CSS file is no longer active. Do you want to remove it? Yes, we do. Okay, back to project. We have index of CSS, index of HTML, and index.js. Now that we've seen how to revert a comment, the next thing we're going to do is see how we can create a new branch. So let's say we need a new branch for this git commit template. Um, we've not made the commit yet. What we're going to do is come over to git and then right click on the master branch or the branch which we want to create a new branch from. So in this case, it's the master branch. Right click on the master branch, new branch from selected and the name of our new branch. So that should be git commit template. We have that right there and we want to leave this checkout branch option ticked so that once we create the branch, we'll be on the branch. Now we've successfully created our git commit template branch and we can close this git section. Now, what if we want to raise a pull request for our changes? Well, we can do that right from WebStorm. And this has been here for a while, but with WebStorm 2021.1, it's a lot more straightforward. What we're going to do is firstly, we'll commit this git commit template file. So let's come over to the commit section and make a commit for this file. I don't think we need this template right now. So let's just write us and we say add git commit template.txt file. So we make this commit. Now that we've done that, what we're going to do next is raise a pull request from this git commit template branch to the master branch. And to do that, we'll come over to the top navigation bar and click on this git option. Next, we'll go over to the GitHub option and you can see that we have a um, share project on GitHub, create pull requests, view pull requests, sync fork, create gist and open on GitHub. What we need right now is the create pull request option. We click on it and we have a pull request pane open for us. This has been opened in the left navigation bar so we can toggle between commits, projects and pull requests. Let's go ahead and add the title for our pull request. Then description, we just write description here. Okay, let's click on this create pull request button. Now you can see on the top part of this pull request pane, there's a warning. And when we hover on it, you see that it says there's no remote branch for git commit template because we've not pushed a git commit template to the remote repository yet. So a new remote branch will be created on origin. Let's click on this create pull request button at the bottom of the pull request pane. Remote branch name git commit template. Okay. So it's being pushed right now. And we have a pull request. Look at that. This is a pull request add template file for git commits. Let's go over to our browser so we're sure that the pull request is really there. Back to our browser, you click on the pull request link and you can see our pull request right here. Our template file for git commits. Lastly, what we're going to do is see how we can pull remote changes to our local project. And to do that, we'll click on this add template file for git commits pull requests and merge it right here in the remote repository. So we we'll want to merge this and then see how we can pull the new master branch changes to our local project. Let's go back to WebStorm. Right here in WebStorm, we'll first check out to the master branch. So we'll come over to the bottom navigation bar and click on git. Next thing we're going to do is right click on the master branch and check out. Awesome. We are the master branch right now. We can still go ahead and preview this by clicking on the WebStorm icon. Now, if you look at the project pane where we have the files, you see that there's no git commit template file right here. It's in the remote branch. In order to pull our change, we'll come back to this git section and the master branch, we'll right click on the master branch, then update. <laughs> awesome. Look at that. We have a git commit template right here in the master branch. And that's about it. But before we wrap up, it's also important to walk you through some other additions WebStorm 2021.1 added to raising pull requests. Let's come back to the pull request section by clicking on this pull request button in the left navigation bar. Then right now you can see the pull request we've opened, add template file for git commits. 
what we're going to do next is we're going to click on this plus icon to create a new pull request since we have the master branch as both the head branch and the base branch we can choose a different base branch by clicking on it so it could be git commit template or master branch we can also do that for this option here so choose whatever branch we want to raise the pull request from You've seen how we can add a title and description to our pull request. We can also add reviewers. So to add a reviewer, you click on this icon beside the no reviewers info and search for any reviewer. You can also assign the pull request to specific people and you can add labels to the pull request. These are really awesome features from the WebStorm 2021.1 version. Working with version control, Git and GitHub has now become so much easier. That's it for version control with WebStorm and WebStorm 2021. There are other exciting features you'll find when you start working with WebStorm's version control. For example, WebStorm would recognize a pull request template. You see the way we had a, a commit message template. You can also have a pull request.md template file for your project. We've been able to learn how to initialize a git repository, how to stage commits, make commits, create templates for commits, um, reverse inline and file changes, revert commits, ways pull requests, and we've seen how to also pull remote changes. The WebStorm team has really done a great job with the version control feature, and I can't wait to try out all the other new WebStorm 2021.1 features. Remember to hit the like button on this video and subscribe to my channel. Tell me what part of the WebStorm's version control feature you like the most in the comment section. See you in my next video.